Vince, I'm Joe Tessitore, alongside my ringside partner, Teddy Atlas. Looking forward to all the action today, and we're just about set for it. The Lions making his way to the ring now, and he looks very focused for this fight. He's coming down to the ring right now. Not seeing much personality out of this ring walk. at all times. Let's touch him up. Opening round here, scheduled for 12. <laughs> Missed the body shot. <laughs> he didn't see that left hand, and it got to him badly. He should really tie up now. through round number one. How about that left hand? Gets rid of that body shot. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Good job staying away from the danger there. Able to dismiss that body shot. Keep pushing. We count down the final moments of this round. This round comes to an end, and Teddy, easy to note here that he wasn't landing a lot of punches. Now he was throwing them up, but he wasn't landing a lot. Is that because of his opponent's defense, or is he just not that accurate of a puncher? No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent's pretty slick in there, pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little nice, bit, slipping relaxed. a little bit, good. making good. himself a difficult target, do. but his punch is a little chest. wide. He needs to shorten him up. Power shot. I keep this guy off balance. That was good. He seems fully recovered to me. Here we are, the start of a new round, and a fighter that got tagged hard in the last round seems as fresh as could be. Well, when you push a fighter, when you push a human being to a dark place, that's when you're going to find out what's bright inside of them, what's great inside of them. And he's responding just that way. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by the Lion. Solid uppercut. That's a momentum changer upstairs. We're seeing a lot of work to the body here early on by him. 
Teddy, is that a certain mentality, these guys that commit to being a body puncher? Yeah, because they understand that the body punching, you know, that's not something that's glorious. That's not something that, you know, like a great left hook on the chin, bang, it gets results right away. They understand that that's something that pays off later and something you got to start early and stay with. remaining in this round. Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds, a round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't, he's chomping at the bit. He's confident. Keep it up. Keep it up. Ooh, yeah, we'll get him, we'll get him. Yeah. We'll take him back. And round number three is underway. How about a return to sender with the left hand? He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punches. Well, the old times used to say when you come in there, when you in control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Right hand downstairs. The Lions crank by an uppercut. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. See how he targets that hook? His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three minute round. Not able to land the headshot, able to land the jab. Headshot there. He is down. One, two, three, four, five. So now the question becomes after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So, one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught, have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're going to find out right now, he needs them right now. Last 10 seconds of round number three. Boy, he is shaky right there. He is on shaky ground in the ring right now. All right, you look great. Just don't go crazy in there. Box smart, my man. Stay away from that power hand, okay? Keep circling away from that power hand. I need you to keep moving side to side, all right? Here you go. This is a fairly competitive, tight fight. The difference being, of course, we did have a knockdown scored as you look at Teddy's scorecard. And that's what professional boxing is about, putting fannies in the seats. The harder puncher, the guy who's more effective, the guy who puts more hurt on you, gets the rounds. 
Well, Teddy, you get in a spot like this, and everybody has their eyes on the fighter who was just knocked down in the last round. What do you look for? What tells you right away that you know what his status is? Well, it's two things. The easiest one is the legs, Joe. I want to see if they're steady, if they're firm, if he's okay. But the next thing is his personality, believe it or not. It's kind of like when you go out to a bar with someone, they have a few drinks, and all of a sudden they're a different person. You know they're drunk. Well, I want to see whether or not my fight is drunk. If he starts rushing at the guy, he starts acting in a way that he's never acted before, I know it's time to pull the plug. Good, solid right hand lands. A stinging uppercut by the Lion. Big uppercut right on the mark. Lions defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Nice! Punch! Punch! Back to the punch! A lot of people may think he's putting forth a good effort just by throwing punches, but his corner would disagree. He is not being effective. No, not at all. And why? Why is he not being effective? because he's not thinking about what he's doing. He's just chucking punches. He's not really putting any intellect behind it. Look at the way he has to throw it instead of just throwing it. And this round comes to an end. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas ringside. I'm just looking up at the corner here at this guy that just got tagged, Teddy, this fighter who just got stunned. And I'm thinking, Boy, it's like the air's come out of him a bit. He looks just so dejected now. Yeah, you know, right now he's on the side of a mountain. You know, he's up on a cliff, and he needs a rope to get down. So that's what you got to do, Joe. You don't look and say, hey, he's up on a cliff. We know that. Give him a rope. Give him advice to get down. Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best, and both guys meeting each other stride for stride, punch for punch. Tough fight to score here as we're back underway. Keep working the jab. Pace yourself. The Lions got a way of just getting away from that punch. Solid left hand. He's on, showing what a skilled up. fighter he is with this counter punching. He scored well after being hit himself. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Halfway through this round here, What an intense hook landed by the Lion. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Wow, what an impressive left hand by the Lion. Wow! Remember earlier he was on the canvas. Now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought it was a bad thing earlier for him. It turned out to be a bad thing for his opponent because he got careless here. But he's going to continue on, beating the count. Final 10 seconds. The Lions just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Nice one. That was good. We have this one. Listen. Step out with a jab. Didn't come back in. Yeah.
All right, breathe. Deep breath. Get some water. You good? You all right? Breathe for me. Good. Now listen. You threw a wide punch out there, and he caught you. Tighten up your punch. Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last round. It did do some damage, but now you can tell he's right back where he wants to be, fresh and ready as we start this round. I don't take lightly when a guy gets dropped, but you know what? I think he was more embarrassed than he was hurt. And now you can see him utilizing the jab. You know, a lot of times you see a guy on the outside bouncing around, staying away. You understand the use of a jab, but when you're coming forward, you have to come forward with a cover. And that jab, that's the cover. Protecting his head well with his guards. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Boy, I know he's not in great shape, but all of a sudden he's doing a very good job of defending himself. You know, it's a funny thing. He's fighting on instincts, and sometimes that's a good thing. You don't want to get hurt to get there, but you want to get there. Right now he's doing things without thinking, naturally. Halfway through round six. The Lions making for a very frustrating round now for his opponent because he's moving so much. He's really utilizing that ring and showing that he's got the better footwork. Yeah, he's doing what the old times would say, Joe. He's giving angles, keeping his opponent off balance. His opponent is strong, but he needs to be set to punch. He's making sure he doesn't allow him to get set. Doesn't give him that kind of landscape. Get in there. Let's go. You got this. One, two, one, two. And he ties up on the inside. Unload! Unload! More punches! Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. <laughs> Quick snapping hook, and it does damage. All right, breathe. Good. Deep breath. Deep breath. Get some water in you. You're good. You all right? You're okay, right? Breathe for me. Now listen, he threw a wide punch, and he caught you. You're going to tighten up your punches, all right? Listen, you need to move your head from side to side, okay? There you go. I want to see that head move. Here we are, the start of another round, and if everything goes according to the way the first half of this fight went, he's going to be coasting in for an easy win. Well, if his opponent goes along with it, he definitely will, but... Maybe he'll change the script a little. Flip the script a bit. The Lions really making some boxing purists out there put a smile there on their go. face because his defense has been stellar. I mean, so fundamentally sound. Yeah, well, that's why he always goes rounds, and that's why people think he has an iron chin. I don't know if he has an iron chin because the chin never gets touched. He's a guy that's always going rounds because his defense is so good. Good looking counter punch. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. At the halfway point of round seven. I shake it off. Face yourself. Piercing jab. Relax, relax. That's great stuff. He fires Good one goodbye. right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by the lion. Seconds to go in the seventh. Little head knocking with that right hand. Almost done. You had him that round. 
You're in control. Next round, let's keep busy. Keep that head moving. Keep it moving. And I want to see those double jabs. Double jabs. Double jabs. Keep on this guy. Keep hunting him down. All right? Cut the ring off and move him into the ropes. I want you on this guy. Listen to me. Your best defense is to throw punches. You need to throw more punches. Start of round number eight. It's been an interesting one so far. He finds himself down even though he has scored a knockdown. Yeah, and he deserves to beat Joe. After that knockdown, he went to sleep. He just stopped working. Showing you some defense there with the block. The Lions keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed, and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right. Oh, and there you go. Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? One, two, three, four, five. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. Excellent hook to the head by the lion. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Keep working the body. Snaps that jab out. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. The Lions giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches but he's able to block them away. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Head body, head body! Punch, punch! Clock counting down here in round number eight. 10 seconds to go. What a difference from corner to corner. As he sits on his stool, he knows that he is in complete control of this fight, peppering his opponent with power shots. Well, it's been like that all night long. Anything he throws finds a target. That was good. He took a lot out of that man. Keep that up. As we start a new round, Teddy, this seems basically hopeless for him. He's been knocked down numerous times tonight. Well, you never know. I mean, you go back to the 1980 Olympics, and of course, you have that great call, do you believe in miracles? But only thing, nobody was punching that hockey team in the face. The Lions tagged. We got an interesting fight here. It looks like one man is seemingly in control, but the other is still live, is still game, is still capable. May need to hit that jackpot, though. Well, he probably does need that knockout. So right now, he has to adjust his game plan, his thinking a little bit. He's got to look for a spot to land one big shot. Maybe when he's pulling out. Not the most accurate uppercut Keep you'll moving. see. Keep moving. What a counter shot by the line. And yet another big shot comes in. Can you believe that? What a huge punch. You couldn't have seen that one coming. And those are the ones you usually don't prepare for. You prepare for the ones that are more sophisticated, the ones that are a little tighter in the gym. You don't have training for these. So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving. But if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Head body. Back to the 
What a damaging blow. Nice hook upstairs. The tactical game paying off. You can see the counter punch. Yeah, you see the counter punch, but you know what I see? I see a little tentativeness now in him because he's afraid to let anything go because when he misses, bang, he gets caught. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. The Lions given us a good showcase of defense here tonight, especially up top. His head movement is just sublime. And his opponent's cooperating with him a little bit because he's getting frustrated. He's looking for that big shot, and he's continuing to miss. He's making no adjustments. A guy's moving his head. You know what you want to do a little bit? What's that? Well, you want to feign him a little bit. Make him make a premature move. And then when he moves to either side, then you time him with a punch. Don't just go out there flailing away. All right, you gotta bring your hands up. You must bring your hands up. Right now, come on, relax. Relax, shake it out, shake it out. You gotta relax. You gotta move out there, right? Move, move, move. Come on, breathe. Breathe. As we start a new round, I pose this question to you. Is there any hope for him? He's look, been knocked down numerous times tonight. Look, there's been great comebacks in this sport. There's always hope. You don't know how deep a man's reserve is inside their soul, inside their mind. Focus. But dangerous grounds now to find out. Flush hook lands by the lion. Finish with the hook. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Boy, he was damaged, but what a big shot. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes. Look at this. The Lions corner is already celebrating. His opponent unable to beat the count. I don't know why we're always so shocked, but we just are. You'd think we'd learn by now that anything can happen. Here's a fight that is clearly heading to a decision, and just like that, it's over by knockout. Yeah, you need to go to sleep, take a sleeping pill, or do that. Stick your chin out, bang. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Always enjoy you tuning in. We'll see you next time at the fights.